Bam, we're in the Patreon. Welcome. And we're here. Yeah, thank you, Rob, for joining us in the Patreon. And thank you, everybody who was already with us for Francis Ellis. Yeah. Came to join us here. He had to get out of here. He had to roll. He had to get back to the hotel and beat off. Yeah. <laughs> we got the mysterious Rob Cruz in the tomb. Right? Rob in the oh, tomb. You, very mysterious. You have, the, you have yeah. the visage of like a dark acoustic act. Yeah. yeah. Ooh. <laughs> or somebody who does like secret art this, and you don't know who he is. In the, yeah. Very, very <laughs> forlorn too. Ooh. Is that... What's Spanksy? Forward? Are you Spanksy? <laughs> <laughs> I just you, fucking shred a Playboy in front of you guys. Yeah, you just do cum Yo, art all across nasty, the city. Dude. I'm getting Bubba Sparks vibes, actually. Really? Oh, mm. drop! You, you think he's about to drop a verse? Yeah, mm. but like gritty, but like gritty, like country rap, country boy. Mm. Yeah, I like that. I do like. Yeah, that. it's pretty tight, dude. Like uh, hiding, staying hidden, jelly roll. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna. I think we're gonna find out in like twenty years that like I think everyone's gonna start doing like any sort of online entertainment under like an alter identity, mm. screen Pretty, names. We're yeah, going back you'll, you'd be able to have like a, just a normal life and no one will know you, and you can just come out here and people. You, you have like an AI face and body, and you can come out here and just while out. You're v, you're VTubing, yeah. and everyone everyone's wearing AR augmented glasses, so they'll see your V avatar. And it's mm -hmm. going to be rare for someone to take off their guns. Like, Whoa, dude. And they'll pay you in Bitcoins. <laughs> mm -hmm. You get paid in Bitcoin. I can't wait till Bitcoin takes over and frees us. Finally, right? This, I keep hearing that. The next like, time is going to be the time when it finally <laughs> sticks. <laughs> when it finally defeats those guys who make money and have all the weapons. <laughs> <laughs> it finally gets to yeah. the guys. We yeah, all, I, <laughs> yeah. I always think about that. I'm like, dude, like well, if everyone used it, then we'd finally have that. And it's like, dude, I honestly, I don't understand how it works. I just want it to go up so I can make like 200 bucks. But yeah, I, don't, I have no yeah. idea. But well, when the government with sky robots decides that Bitcoin shouldn't exist anymore, it's done. Yeah. Well, I, I think they'll slide in their own digital currency. You think so? Yeah, dude. They'll just be like, yeah, that's a cool idea. We'll do it ourselves. And you know, But that's what I'm saying. If, if it was a cool idea. No, you know, okay. Deal. So we don't know what we're talking about on any of this. But you know what I actually worries me? I was watching a, a documentary about an MMA fighter, a Chinese MMA fighter, who started calling out like wushu masters like traditional martial arts like kung fu guys and he would say that shit's fake stop trying to like convince people it's real and then he would challenge them to fights and beat their asses and so he did this and became like a national villain in china and they one of the things that he did to him was they dropped his social credit score to the point where he couldn't get on like a train or a bus Damn. <laughs> Damn. so yeah that's so he ended up that. he ended up defying the government and taking another fight and he had to walk like 36 hours to get to it <laughs> What? <laughs> That's the most Chinese shit I've ever heard in my and he life. Got, and he <laughs> got there and he, sure. and he beat the fuck out of a fake kung fu guy and walked. And it's like their social credit scores, are, I think, are probably inevitable. Maybe not. That's what. That's what. Remember people. when? Remember when Chinese people started wearing masks during swine flu in mm -hmm. like two thousand something? And we were yeah. like, "Whoa, that, I would never do that." And then eventually, it made its way over here. Social credit scores are going to make their way over here. Yeah, I think so too. Yo, I, what's I, a wushu? Wushu is like, I, I think that's just like a derogatory term for uh, like traditional martial arts that are, oh, okay. don't really do anything. Yeah. Kind of sounds like something like Chris Tucker would say. <laughs> Come on, Liam, what's a Wushu? <laughs> <laughs> sounds like something he would order. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, it's performance. I don't know, Kung man. Fu. Bring me some of that Wushu. Yeah. <laughs> God damn, I can't read this menu. <laughs> Lee! <laughs> Kata. Kata what Wushu is. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Jeffrey, land the goddamn plane! That would be a good podcast where one guy has to be Chris Tucker and the other guy has to be Jack Chan. <laughs> and he was talking, like, all about the essential credit good, score. I don't know. That'd be a good punishment in podcast hey, court. <laughs> that sounded almost black Asian. <laughs> all, all of Matt's impressions end a little Asian. <laughs> Oh man! And I, did you go? Did you go Japanese for Jackie Chan? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you uh, understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? Yeah. Hello Kitty, very strong. Fire Nation. Damn, dude. I feel like our relations. Fire Lord, Fire Lord Ozai. <laughs> man. We want to put this on the secret Patreon, the double Patreon. Yeah. Oh. 
Well, that's, uh, to be fair, that's the that's the Rush Hour Four podcast where you talk about like serious global issues and what you just pick. Like, I'm like Jan, you're Chris Tucker. <laughs> <laughs> you get to go. Oh, I don't know, Chris. Global warming is you have a to serious record it. What the <laughs> hell is a Bitcoin? You have to record it in a convertible. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's what black people had a lot. Let me let me get a bit of coin. <laughs> let me get a bit of that coin. <laughs> oh, now hold on, Chris. <laughs> I very smoothly <laughs> unplug your microphone. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, Chris. The planet goes through warming and cooling periods yeah. all the time. <laughs> Did that motherfucker just de mic me? <laughs> Shout out Rob Cruz for introducing the Chris Tucker. Yes. Fucking, you yeah, injected dude. us with Tucker, dude. That's what I'm here for, baby. Mm. Uh, I, bit I of a shadow man. Like... You're a bit of a shadow man. Dude. I see how you're playing right now. I'm Shadow Cruz, baby. You're unbelievable, dude. Yes, Fucking, dude. dude, I heard you had an all timer. Lemaire told me about a joke you said on Do Rag and the Deer Tag. <laughs> and apparently, from when I heard it, got stonewalled wrongly, wrongfully. And when you were talking to Two Ray, he said, "How many kids?" You, he saw about his kids. He said, <laughs> yeah. "Oh, you got eight Ray." Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He had a lot of kids. That he had eight. Dude Ray. got eight rays, and he said he got he got stonewalled. The joke got Cru stonewalled on the podcast. Oh. I'm here to tell Cru you, you your hear? instincts are fucking spot on. That was the funniest thing. Yeah, Cru Thanks, do you want to hear something even funnier? That wasn't the mayor. That was me. <laughs> oh, that was you. <laughs> 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 uh, I'm very sorry, Sidney. <laughs> <laughs> I could have sworn the mayor told me on the way oh home. Oh my god, yeah, I told dude! That was me. <laughs> <laughs> on the phone. Whoa, told you. that's Exhibit A for they all look the same. <laughs> <laughs> Your Honor, <laughs> the prosecution would like to enter into evidence. <laughs> so I'm sorry. I, technically, it wasn't a funnier paper. joke, but Matt's racism was funny in that moment. Wow. <laughs> Got him. Wow. Got him. Dude. Um, caught you, Matt. The disrespect. <laughs> Yo, clip that. <laughs> Crip that. Crip <laughs> that. That was you. Yeah, that was you. I remember that. Wow. Damn. I, I, I usually don't say anyone's name because I, mm. I fucked up my neighbor's name at my birthday party. It was embarrassing. Uh, what was it? I just completely, I, I called him my other neighbor's name. And I Ooh. went, Dad, dude, I'm so sorry, bro. I, I hate, that's why I don't say anyone's name ever. And I'm so, I should get, I got to go back to my pop. Was it just the wrong word came out of your mouth or did you assign the wrong name to the guy and be honest? I just was like, usually I'm like real weird about, <laughs> I'm really weird about introducing people. Yeah. I, I forget. I, yeah, I don't, this is my neighbor Chauncey. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, Garrick. <laughs> I, I did, when we were there. Chauncey's went, my other name. I was like, hey, this is Danny. Uh, that's Danny's wife, and I was like, safe. <laughs> like, fuck. I forgot her name. But I didn't try to, like, fill. Usually I, like, it's dancing. I'm like, I know I know it. I'm just worried about doing the wrong one. I yeah. completely whiffed on my neighbor, and then I went, I, I didn't, I didn't oh, dude, say it. I human anyway. shield Mary Jo all the time. When I forget a name, I go, bam. She goes, hi, I'm Mary Jo. And then she gets the name, and I go, I committed to memory for five seconds. I greet them by their name, and then I go, let's forget that until next uh, time. Dude, and I know this guy. Like, I know his name. It was, it was honestly, it was a fluke. I just, but I said it, and he corrected. It was actually my name, and I went, ah, that's your name. I, oh, no. Wow. Oh, so, he, so he wasn't Danny. That's so painful. No, no, no. It was just my neighbor. It was like, yeah, yeah. We, we hang out all the time. He comes over, he brings his kids, and I just like, and I started going, well, you know how it is with these kids, bro. I don't know what's what. Right? I tried to, you know, <laughs> oh, you know, man. No big deal. And I yeah. went, oh, man. You had it wrong the whole time. To be fair, yeah. I wouldn't have cared. I would have been like, whatever. Someone does that to me. I'm like, whatever. Yeah, but a lot of white guys don't like that. True. Like they that's take a, it that's a disrespect. very personally. Your True. father teaches you to shake hands, make solid contact, and remember a name. And when yeah. someone forgets your name, you're just like, dude, what are you fucking forgetting the face of your father right now? True. <laughs> yeah. <it was laughs> against me? Well, I like got, I'm getting like, I started to be like, dude, I got everyone's names in my head. I got to just like, just let it flow. And I, first time I was like, just went for it. It was like, wrong name. I was like, fuck. Yeah. Black guys let that flow because we never know which nickname we gave. Sure, it could, in the be first place. could be an alias. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, also, it's the opposite. You don't want someone giving up your government. Nah, I don't know my name. I, yeah, you I don't appreciate want you. you not know. Yeah, exactly. It's like, oh, what was your name again? No, dog. Thanks, man. That's what I was doing for you, dude. That's what I was doing <laughs> thanks, for you. Man. I didn't want to tell everyone you were in my car, dude. I know how weird black guys are about telling stories about the names. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dog. I'm trying don't to do you a favor. Like that, I did you a favor, and you're like, <laughs> I'm not the mayor. <laughs> <laughs> we get a, we get accused of sounding like each other on podcasts. People are like, I never know if it's uh, Lamar or Sydney. That's crazy. I, yeah, I could if I like was only interacting with you guys for like a, you know if it was like I could see the seed of that thought. Yeah, you can hear the passion for anime in both of our voices. You guys, yeah, you guys, do, you guys do. Have <laughs> 
no. somewhat breathy, airy voice. I said both of you guys have a little yeah, bit we, of air. Yeah, we both sound voice. fat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe that's what it is. Maybe you sound fat because Lemaire definitely does. Yeah, yeah when yeah. Lemaire talks, it sounds like the air is barely escaping his body. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and I'm saying that in a loving way. I love Lemaire yeah, very sure. much. Now, every time like a but, only listener meets me. They're always like they they think that uh, I'm being ironic when I'm saying that I'm jacked and stuff. Yeah, they're, they're expecting me to be fat. They think you're fat. Yeah, they think I'm a little fat boy. That's kind of nice. Yeah, it's pretty fun. That's a nice. They just think you're fat. Mm-hmm. They think I sound fat. I think you do have a fat voice. Actually. Yeah, you know what I'm saying you have a very fat voice. Yeah, your voice has a no sweet face. Yeah, I'm not ashamed of it. Yeah, that is a <laughs> yeah. That my, is. my voice you has diabetes. Sweet. <laughs> sweet. Sydney, have you ever been fat? I have. Really? How many oh, times? I was uh, just one time. Just one. I tried it out after college. Caused you slipping? No, nah, I, I, I went into it hard. That was like, really? dude, it was, uh, uh, you can ask Sydney, anybody Sydney's that Sydney's vocal cords have stretch yeah. marks on them. That's why it's <laughs> Yeah. yeah. <laughs> dude, it, Ansley, like, she, she hated it at first because... Uh, when you were fat? Because you are a big, no, no, fat, disgusting that I, freak. That I was trying to <laughs> yeah, get that. sucks. Right? She oh, hated yeah. that, like, that I was doing it on purpose. At first, it, like, really bothered her. Yeah. And then yeah, because like, you initiated oh, a game of pussy chicken with her. Uh, well, sort of. She came. She came a little bit along for the ride. She didn't. She, she wasn't like next to me in a car, but she was like next to me in a little sidecar on a motorcycle. Do you know what I mean? Mm, like she, sure. She did her. She didn't quite hop on. Classic fat guy move. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Tiny motorcycle with sidecar. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, it was. Uh, so I got up uh, over three hundred. So she was still orbiting you at that point. She was. <laughs> she was in your orbit. Yeah, she was like, All right, let me get some of that fucking in and out burger. <laughs> you know, was, was this uh, was this when the Nutty Professor was big? Just curious. <laughs> you clumped on your wife. Yeah, I did clump. I clumped. <laughs> Heck, man. Hercules, yeah. dude. Cl- <laughs> you dra- you drank the fucking syrup, dude. I did. Dude, Cindy, you should go fuel full fucking Respucia. <laughs> God damn. Are you calling Cindy a fat black lady right now? Yeah. <laughs> no, dude, I'm saying he should. We don't talk like that on this podcast. That's dude. fucked up. It's, yeah. Dude, just because you're in that tomb doesn't mean you can be crazy, bro. <laughs> I don't know the reference, but that sounded pretty but racist. That's from Norbit. Yeah. That's Norbit. Uh, I didn't get it either. Fat. I, I had no idea. Nutty Professor, dude. I was, like, I I was just. Racist. Respu- that yeah. might be, honestly, one of the most underlooked, funniest movies is Norbit with Respucia. How are you doing? Oh, that's the big chick that likes him? Yes. Yeah. It's so fucking funny. Norbit is what I saw in the theaters and I had a good trip. <laughs> <laughs> dude, I, I've always been impressed with uh, white people's ability to remember the names of characters in black movies and shows. Yeah. Because I never knew well, the name of anybody unless it was like Columbo. Like the name of the show was the It's name always of the guy. a name that you've only ever heard one time. True. It stands out. Yeah. There. I know. <laughs> you know? Several it's like seeing it out <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought you were talking about one of my cousins. That's why I got offended, Rob. You, you, you like, honestly know several Rasputians? <laughs> no, no, no. I was like, that's wild. Yeah. He- hearing a black name in a movie is like seeing an albino in real life. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, God, I'll never yeah. forget that. That was spooky. <laughs> I just want to see you put someone in an arm bar and hit him with a, how you doing? <laughs> <laughs> well, he doesn't know the lines from the movie. Yes, yeah, that's no. all I know. <laughs> it's actually a very sad movie. Was it? Was it about being an incel? Is that what it was? Yeah, Kinda. that, that was like a, wanted to suck him, though. Yeah, yeah, which is cool. That is joyous. But the rest of the, the movie is like an orphan. Yeah. And, uh... I don't know, he had a hot friend that he loved, and then he married Respucia, and then met her when they were adults or something like that. Dude, I wonder if there was, like, a solar flare that hit Hollywood in the 90s, and it made, like, Dana Carvey, Mike Myers, and Eddie Murphy all have the same career at the same time. It's all getting fat. They just freaked out on insane characters. (laughs) (laughs) Damn. Like, they were all looking up at the same time. They they all got hit with the same toilet flush. (laughs) I mean, that was as funny as shit could get. Getting in, getting in a fat suit and being silly <laughs> made like $2 billion in Hollywood. Yeah, and then like you make an appearance at the VMAs in the fat suit, and it's like, that's it. That was my whole year. Yeah. Do it again. Start again in February. Do they all clog the toilet at the same time? <laughs> <laughs> Can we still do fat suits, or is that like, you not do that? Didn't Brendan Fraser wear a fat suit, or did he actually get Yeah, and though? he made a big deal about how like tasteful it was and how how like uh, aware of trauma that was, and it, the people were like, shut up, dude. You can't can't do fat. Hire a fat actor. Yeah. <laughs> he, did people give him shit? Yes. For not hiring. Who should he have hired? That's kind of shitty though. Like hire fucking what's there? There are fat, fat actors who need work, and you're denying them jobs by putting non-fat people in their roles. The same thing with retarded people. The same thing with Asian people. Same yeah, but thing who's with, I'm trying to? Who's like the hottest Asian boys and girls? <laughs> who's the yeah. fattest hottest celebrity right? Like who's like the most in demand fat celebrity right now? Lizzo like, thinks Peter, it's her. Peter, true. Peter Dinklage has the fucking midget corner. He's like Brad Pitt. Oh uh, yeah, 
So who's the number well, one? What's his face? Uh, not Vern Troyer. Who's the OG from Willow? What the hell is his name? Dude, OG he, was, he was the repli- he was I the keep replication Vern of Troyer. this guy you're talking about. I oh, no, no, he, he didn't look you, like you. Him. Want, you talking about clones? Yeah. You think I think they're cloned a midget. It might have cloned a midget. Yeah, I've been I've been on that conspiracy for a while, and I feel like you kind of cracked into it. Well, they only have the one mold midget. for Dude, them. They're cloning midgets and tall people, right? They only have the one creepy crawlers mold for midgets, so yeah. they all <laughs> they all have the exact same silhouette. You, uh, they, they, it's I like think, a it's like a light bulb on a gummy bear, <laughs> <laughs> and then you just create a wrestler like a hairstyle and a t shirt. <laughs> build a bears. <laughs> midgets wear build a bear shoes. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, they're cloning. Press their foot and they go, "Hey, buddy." <laughs> is it Warwick Davis was that what the midget's name from Willow? That probably something is something like that. Yeah, that sounds from. Yes, I got it. Um, That's good. They're cloning. They clone the of tall freaks too. Really? So LeBron James is a clone of the same mold of Greg Oden, but Greg and, Oden and Deontay Wilder. Retarded. Um, I don't know if Deontay. Dude, look up. Sh- can you show us pictures of Greg? I'm, I'm pretty sure it's the same. Yeah, one two. Yeah, yeah sure it's the same. Look frame. at him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, it, they are the same. Greg Oden and LeBron James. Greg Oden is a retarded. He didn't come out. He didn't cook all the way or some shit. Yeah. And he's like, he injured himself out of the league. He was always a little bit slow and retarded. But he's like a retarded looking LeBron James. I'm, Greg, sh- I'm positive uh, they are close. Greg he's, he's medium rare. Yeah. Medium rare LeBron. O-D-E-N. LeBron. Not safe <laughs> for consumption. Oh, my sure. God. Wikipedia, stop begging, dude. Yeah, I hate when they do that. It's like, dude, shut up. It's like everyone fills out the stuff for you. <laughs> oh, have you ever delved into the that, the world of obsessive Wikipedia editors? No. I think I've seen some YouTube videos. I, oh, yeah, that is Undercooked LeBron. Yeah, I mean. They should have let him proof longer. <laughs> if, I know, if I know anything about baking. Oh, what happened? They He's trying to out. return to the NBA. No way. That's what they say. Not happening. He's too retarded. What happened to him? What, what's I did? I don't know how. I don't know anything about the cloning process, but like something got fucked up. Yeah, yeah. It looks like a mailman walked into the the tra- the teleportation machine with him, <laughs> and he came out on the other side. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> Is cloning yeah. like a real thing? Cloning? Yeah. Can they actually do that? Yeah, they're about to clone a woolly mammoth. What? Yeah. For real? JP, yeah. they didn't watch Jurassic Park. Well, I mean, mm-hmm. woolly mammoths are a, a far cry from. Well, that's how it starts. Yeah, yeah. Life, that's how it, it starts. It dude. finds its way from there. You do. You, there's someone's going to do. They're we're going to have a pretty. I mean, here's the thing. No matter what world what happens worldwide, we're going to have a pretty fun time until real Jurassic Park happens. Yeah, and people are going to start fucking woolly. Yeah, it's just Honestly, all part of pre JP. We could destroy dinosaurs easily. Yeah, bomb, you're telling me bomb, that like yeah. if I if I have an AR-15, you're telling me I can't kill dinosaurs. That's what I'm saying. I'm not even sweating it at all. I could probably kill dinosaur with a skateboard. Mm. That would be cool. I mean, would that be so wrong to like cl- bring back dinosaurs and let us just let us Bart Simpson them, fuck them up? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you could shoot them out of a helicopter. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. They're bad guy animals. So if you kill them, it's like not. It's net. That's neutral. also good meat, dude. Start growing T Rexes. Yeah, like put them in the. You'd have to world. monitor their, their diet though, especially with reptiles, dude. If they eat nasty, slimy shit, it it uh, tastes yeah. like it. True. Oh, you're so, going with the reptile theory of dinosaurs. Not, yeah, not the how, giant bird theory. Well, yeah, bra- birds are the same way. I, I've been I've been yeah. looking into going into the Faroe Islands so I can eat whale and dolphin meat, and mm. I've found out that uh, the bird population, since they just like eat primarily fish, when you eat birds from the Faroe Islands, they taste like fish. fish Ooh, you yeah. can taste it in there. So mm. that's pretty sick. Whatever the case, dude, you got to feed these guys right. I mean, uh, can we not just like maybe make dinosaurs and put them into like enemy countries? I think strange. that is that's Resident Evil, but with dinosaurs. <laughs> that might be Dino Crisis. <laughs> yeah, that'd be pretty cool. I mean, we should start. Where would you put them first? Afghanistan. Where would I put them? Afghanistan yeah. for sure. Yeah, with T Rex. Desert test them. Yeah, yeah. I put them in the they Middle they East the with big crosses on them. <laughs> <laughs> Christianity rules. Dude, Crusader dinosaurs. <laughs> <Just pterodactyls. laughs> Bro, this is an action figure line that could make us billionaires. <laughs> Damn. We could. We honestly give us five years. We can make Todd McFarlane suck our dicks on air. <laughs> if we, dude, if we do Crusader dinos, <laughs> just an ankylosaurus. Di- like, what your, dude, what would Muslims be? Uh, primates. <laughs> Mm. Or just they regular do, they're muscles. Muscles. They're muscles. You'd have to do it. It'd, it'd, have to be, it'd be real to life. And then you could go. They come in. You have an ankylosaurus. Be like, hey, let your wife drive, jerk. And then whip his ankle tail <laughs> right into a fucking like. There's like a raptor with a mohawk. 
Yeah. Hey, that's not cool. Hey, get that gay guy off the roof. Come on. <laughs> get a brontosaurus. Just like oh, yeah. Slide, slide down, down, his, down neck. his neck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that'd be awesome. Whoa. Yeah, sending the dino troops <laughs> to in the, the Middle East, East. <laughs> to make them act right. Oh, dude. <laughs> Two T Rexes rip Bin Laden in half. <laughs> <laughs> There's fucking raptors like, supposed to be a religion of peace. What is going on? <laughs> <laughs> what happened here? <laughs> I'm reading right now about the middle, about Iran versus, I think, yeah, Afghanistan. No, which, which of the two countries? It's uh, Saudi Arabia and Iran. And it's like, man, that place just really went to hell. <laughs> it was a lot of America. Like, wait, wait, America. Which place went to hell? The whole region? Or the whole region just yeah. got fucked, dude. So what was it before and how did, like, what was the catalyst for going to hell? Uh, they said it's all, you know, they, it was the Sunnis and the Shiites for a long time. Shiites have been getting kind of stepped on and kind of like just marginalized basically forever. Mm -hmm. They're like, yeah, but we're like the actual. They should take the hint. <laughs> well, the problem was I don't know anything. Yeah, I'm yeah. sorry. I'm sorry. I shouldn't even talk. <laughs> <laughs> Please, Matt, go on. I, I'm should like, take the dude. It's, it's so <laughs> hard. Oh, dude, seriously, when you're like, oh, dude, do you know how hard it is to be like uh, a Muslim in India or like uh, uh, a Buddhist in fucking Pakistan? It's like I don't give a fuck, dude. No one likes it. Stop doing yeah. it. <laughs> well, the problem is I don't give a motherfucking Shiite. <laughs> God damn it, bro. Rob Cruz. <laughs> Yahtzee. Yeah. <laughs> that was Rob Cruz Tucker in there. Yeah. Like, dude, <laughs> you could go say dude, that to a room full of people and it'd be like t angry tears of like, <laughs> 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 that's cool. I don't give a shit about that. <laughs> <laughs> Just crying, dude. Just, mm. Fuck you. Damn, yeah, I haven't had like an angry cry in a while. Why not? I don't know. It's been a while since I was like twelve. You're right. I haven't. <laughs> I haven't that, had an angry peaks. cry. I uh, full disclosure. I was listening to uh, Oh Holy Night while I walked my dogs. Both Josh Groban and Celine Dion. I cried. Damn. <laughs> After mm. Christmas. <laughs> I like to listen to Oh Holy Night and genuinely think about just a world that didn't have the message of Christ and just <laughs> people just <laughs> fucking bashing each other. It was such a dark and scary place, dude. I yeah. think about that and I go, oh, so if you really listen to the lyrics, they talk about that. Uh -huh. And all of a sudden it's just like, no, dude, we can't just fucking just be stepping on each other's heads like this. If there's someone's not the emperor, they're still important, dude. Human lives are important. I walk my dogs and I'm like, wipe it under my sunglasses. Like, man, it's such a beautiful message. Yeah, that is beautiful. Oh, I love it. It's my favorite thing to do. Listen to Old Holy Night by Josh Groban and walk my dogs. <laughs> on, on a little bit of mushrooms and think about pre-Christian world and go... Man, that must have been a scary. Wow. I was thinking about like little kids just fucking their dads coming. No one knows anything, and there's some warlord's breathing down his neck, and he's like, "Get the fuck out!" Just <laughs> spazzing out. Yeah. The other house is on fire. We, <laughs> dude, we've talked. Bitch. We've talked before how like, <laughs> okay, we guys are gonna get me my feelings right yeah. now, dude. About how sports <laughs> are like oh, the yeah. modern equivalent of like <laughs> battle simulation in yeah. different ways, and being a sports fan is the modern equivalent of like watching your father get his head cut off and your mother raped by <laughs> invaders. <laughs> it's true, mm. yeah. exactly. I was I think about that, and I'm like, just think about the little kids back then. It was just you didn't have a chance. They were still pure, sweet little angels, dude. Were yeah. they, the or did they have dirty faces and like stab you know assailants? They were so beautiful dude a two-year-old dude this is like a, maybe a one and a half year old just stands up like check me out mom and the dad comes in and is like shut the fuck up get out blah, blah, blah. you think well that had to start I mean, it probably was. it wasn't always that way what do you think triggered the dads to start cracking them babies <laughs> <laughs> I, I, yeah that's a good question when I'm thinking it was started? probably like, way... You go, you go further back, we're in huts around a fire, the father takes his son, his fucking protege, everywhere with him, shows him, this is how you run right so that you can catch the big meat. This is how you throw shit yeah, at Yeah, true. This is how you love a woman. There was probably a lot of that. There, there was probably <laughs> a lot it, of when that When did it go from on. that to just like, shut the fuck up and crack? And well, probably around... Specialization. Probably when you got bosses. Money yeah, as soon as dad out, got yeah. a boss... That's specialization. Yeah. Money yeah. came out, yeah, there was the invention of money, and it was like, it was very, it was a yeah. very stressful... As soon as a man crossed you and you had no recourse <laughs> aside yeah. from just going like you got it that was when you started getting mad Dude, so that was the first exactly. thing to occur when actual society developed well you should be able to kill your kids too that was like a, in the roman time but sometimes cool. you had to. you're allowed to kill your if they were if your kid was kind of still can if you're a hot lady it's true, true. Yeah. <laughs> if you're a hot lady who needs to get to west tampa <laughs> to enter a wet t-shirt contest you can still invoke <laughs> killing your children the holy right 
<laughs> of drowning your kids or whatever. <laughs> but if you're a dad who's reached his breaking point and he's having an affair with like a CrossFit lady, you can't kill your wife and kids and bury them in an oil tank. No, no, no. That's bad stuff. That's... Which is malarkey. Yeah, yeah, that is. I side yeah, with that yeah. hot chick, by the way. I don't think I. I don't think she did. I saw her documentary. I'm, I'm, I'm. She's. You don't think she did it, or you think she did it, but she was justified. I don't think she did it. I, I mean, you think her parents did it? Yeah, her dad. Her dad was a fucked up individual. What was yeah, the maybe. dad doing the whole time while the kids were? What was there's a documentary cover like while she was partying? Was her dad also like partying harder than her? Yeah, like, her what? her dad was actually partying on her. Mm. Yeah. And like while she, she kept, was after her dude, kids died, even, yeah, How before, old she? before her kids died, and she kept telling her mom about like for this allegedly was happening from when she was like a kid and still was happening into like adulthood. Her dad would like come over and like party on her and bounce. And she like she was telling dude, her mom, party on her is the worst. <laughs> <you've ever seen. laughs> party on her, I can't party I can't. on dad. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I was rolling with it. I said, I can't let you use party on in I that can't. context. I, I can't say anything else. Right now. <laughs> I mean, it is a nice yeah, euphemism. It, it I mean, is. it's a terrible. Thing. Throws no, a baby is. in the trash. Dang. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> well, that is Excellent. so. So the, 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 alle the allegation is that, that if he was sitting on the, the gavel. He's like, show wing. <laughs> <laughs> did he do the dream weaver or something? Is that <laughs> no, he did foxy lady at it. <laughs> the baby gets transported. It's like hi. <laughs> I'm in Delaware. He went to his wife. It's like, our daughter's a total babe. <laughs> Lots of people's daughters are in there. <laughs> <laughs> the fucked up thing about that scenario, it's either a guy molested his kid and killed his grandkid, or a lady killed her kid and partied. Yeah. Yeah, you can't do that. There's no good scenario. Oh, it's fucked up either way. Yeah. Just send them all to jail. But she was like, my dad, what, does a daddy ever speak his piece? They're like, no, I so did. So that was, that was allegedly what was happening. The heat was getting too thick at that point. And like her mom was starting to believe it. And like, uh, they were about to start getting lo like people involved. And then he was like, oh, look, your baby's dead. Like he's the one that found the baby in the pool. Like it was like. In the yeah. pool? Yeah. There's in the pool. I mean, that's like, you know. Oh, what the hell? She said, Dad. <laughs> All right, <that's> <laughs> Dad. <laughs> Dan, well, was yeah, I, not actually, her dad a cop or something? Oh, her dad was She's a cop. Her, her dad at one point was a cop. At this point, he was trying to be a Disney character. He what? had retired from the Ooh. cop force and was trying to get hired by Disney. And you, can't, uh, you can't get hired by Disney with that type of information. Uh, you know what? Well, also, if you, know you, you want to molest kids with a perfect job to be in a suit. Yeah, but you, you can't, know, like, yeah. you can't pre-molest kids. You can't molest kids before getting that job. Man, yeah. Obviously. Obviously. Yeah. Pre -molest. obviously. Yeah. Yeah. I'm pretty sure you're banned from the kingdom, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Are, Are we sure? pedophile two nutcrackers stand before the magical <laughs> gates? Get <laughs> out of here. Are we sure he wasn't being ratatouille by the ghosts of his grandchildren? <laughs> <laughs> Retire from your post. Take a job at Disney World. Pa 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 pa. Oh, oh god. Grandpapa. <laughs> Is she an only child? I think so. Yeah. Typical. Nah, only child. she had a brother. What's Dude. up with the brother? There's a brother. Oh, younger brother. Yeah, it was a younger she, brother. She yeah. accused the brother of also. Uh, Ooh. Yeah. Partying on her. <laughs> I did not want to say that. It was a party of two, man. It turns yeah. out it was a bit of a family party. No, uh, <laughs> <Those, laughs> so, so terrible and sinister. Oh, but <laughs> although someone is deeply evil in the situation. Oh, for sure. What if he molested her, but she did kill her kid <laughs> and was like, well, fuck well, this. I'm two not... wrongs don't make a right in that. So the big theory. I'm not saying they do. The big theory. So we can make fun of this whole family. <laughs> good conscience. Yeah. yeah. The big theory is she used to say. That uh, her, stupid is the stupid is. her daughter's <laughs> being babysitted by Zanny the nanny. So they're Zanny the nanny. Damn, dude. they're saying that they get she, she would give her daughter. Her children? Yeah, and then Zanny she went too nanny. far one time. Not a Jamaican lady named Zanny. <laughs> Matt, I know where your brain went. Zanny the nanny. <laughs> Who's Zanny? Yeah. I was I was nah, thinking dude, check was, out her SoundCloud. It is tight. I was oh thinking of like God. a YouTube. I thought like a YouTube like. Uh, like a YouTube child show. Like, why oh, was like, Zanny? <laughs> I mean, may maybe that's what the kids saw. God rest her Black soul. Black Blippy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Zanny the nanny. Black Blippy. <laughs> yeah, dude. That's... Yeah, no. She was sedating her children with medicine. Oh, so Zanny the nanny. That's crazy. And then the dad. Dude, that's such a snake. Where, where does everyone stand on that? I think the judicial system was like, fuck that. I'm not doing this. 
This is just, <laughs> yeah, it's a bit much. This, this is, is a fuck. bit much. This is and too Man, you just illustrated. Actually, I can't believe we talked about Dana Carvey earlier. Did you ever hear Dana Carvey say that you can't say the judicial system without sounding drunk? And you just... <laughs> judicial <laughs> judicial system. system. <laughs> <laughs> that might have been a subconscious thing, though. The judicial system. The judicial I, system. I, I just smash through the CI. I go, the judicial system. The ju 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 yeah. Judicial. Judicial. Mm -hmm. It's judicial. Yeah, yeah. What did I say? Judicial? No, you rushed through it. The judicial As system. people do, though. The judicial. So, yeah, fuck. That Very human. Dang it. There's nothing yeah. worse than watching yourself. So, no, I would never kill my family. Is that what, the, what we were talking about? I don't know. How do we get onto this How terrible on topic? Killing your children. You were talking about the. At one point, your children followed you around everywhere. Then the father saw. Oh, oh yeah. Then you got a boss. And night. you wanted to I'm punch your kids. Night. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Apparently, all the world's great religions were founded around the same period, and it was when kind of money was ushered in. It was the axial age. Right. When money was ushered into like all the great societies. Yeah, it was probably was Buddhism, it was probably specifically to legitimize monarchs. Like, uh, just so you guys know, there's someone watching. They think I'm really in charge down here. That's that is basically what it yeah. was. Yeah, and he what says happened? I should cut off your hands and kill your family and have sex with your wife. <laughs> <laughs> but and when, he's watching us at all times, guys. When did it yeah, start? Yeah, I don't even like want to, but he's just up there. Wait, you're saying <laughs> the religions came to legitimize religions the came to uh, legitimize monarchies? I mean, well, I that, that's so that's one of the arguments that the guy. Um, listening to this book about the Silk Roads, yeah. that's one of the arguments that is made in that book and that the Silk Roads helped to kind of usher that in even yeah. stronger. Yeah. Like, well, they were saying, like, so there was the early, in early Christianity, I think it was Constantine was the one who made it the official church of the Roman Emperor, mm -hmm. Roman Empire, and there was a band, they were called the Desert Wanderers. They were like, fuck this. This Jeez. guy hijacked. No, no, these were early, I mean, they might have been, some of them might have been, you know, I don't want to say recovering. I don't. What's the term? <laughs> <laughs> they were early Christians, and they were like there was like a couple hundred of them who were like, "Nah, it was way sicker when we met in our houses before this was legal." Because they're they like that's when they incorporated all of like the uh, the religions from like the you know the other people and all all the you know all the other stuff the uh, the godless heathen religions. Mm -hmm. They mm -hmm. started being like, "Yeah, no, fuck that," because they they're like they're putting all of their stuff in. Our, we had a sweet thing going, so they went out into the desert. And uh, they just I do love there. when someone is the most hardcore Christians and they just completely sink the ship. They're just yeah. like, this is not good. Yeah. Like a lot of pilgrims. I think I'm thinking of the movie The Witch also, by the way. True. Yeah. It's like, nah, no, I'm the only real one. And they fully like Nate Diaz out on religion. <laughs> 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 they're like we're getting on a giant boat. Peace. That's the same <laughs> shit as like Heaven's Gate. Yeah. Wandering the fucking desert. What what morons? They sat in a cave and said, "We're not down with this shit." They've hijacked our religion. They gave it. I, I, why can I think of this fucking word? It's well, I'll, I'll say this: according to the guy from the Silk Roads, like Christianity is what sparked all the other religions to get big because Christianity was kind of like the most capitalistic religion. Mm. And then when other religions saw that, and they were like, "Dog, we can make money off of this." Because like in Buddhism, they used Damn. to just do like. They, they, they would beg for money and stuff, but they had a really ascetic religion, so they didn't have any of that flash. How shit. long How long has Not Christianity true. had? Not true. Buddhism well, had, they had the farms, they would have people work the farms. Buddhism had many times. But no flashy shit, and flashy shit. Buddhism, what, yeah. what happened with Buddhism, they would actually attract all the money in the country, and a king would be like, you fuck those guys. Yeah, yeah but, but that was by happenstance. The, Christianity, even back then, yeah. already had black pastors in pastel suits. That's true. <laughs> 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 they had to see parties. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because, okay, I have been traveling on private camel. And yes, that is my very fine magic carpet outside. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I need you to d pass the dish around now. Drop your dreckles on it. <laughs> Pagan was the word I was trying to think of for like 10 minutes. <laughs> My brain's going there. to shit. I think I helped you get there. You did. Yeah. You did. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that's, it could be. I, I've heard this, I thought the same thing about Buddhism, but I read a story and it was like they had the same problems where it was like people got money hungry, people got powerful because they were like, they started controlling and farming around there. And they, so was that was that before or after the Silk Road? So here, here's what I'm saying. So allegedly, again, so they didn't have uh, any sort of, a, you know, like temples and shit. Mm -hmm. They didn't, they weren't, they weren't doing that. They weren't having these adorned temples that was just like a really aesthetic place that people would go to and understand like this, this yeah, is early Buddhism shit, right? Same with the early Christians. So then Christianity start popping off in a capitalistic way. And that was then the Roman Empire, dude, it wasn't the desert wanderers, dude. I didn't say that. 
I'm just saying, I'm saying this connection to the Silk Road. No this is this connection to the Silk Road. So it's Christianity started popping off and they were seeing like, oh, people are making money with this. Mm-hmm. So then all the other religions changed. And so Buddhism started to have stupas and shit where people mm-hmm. would go pray at it. Yeah. But yeah. that was like after. That wasn't the thing. Yeah. What's yeah. a stupa? It's just a little uh, a shrine. Yeah. That like you can go put stuff on and then like sit down, like kneel to it and pray. And it's like, they're like nice. When did they start building Dang. temples where guys burn themselves alive? Because they said when, whenever a month, I think that was when Rage 000. Against the Machine came out. Yeah. <laughs> Ten thousand BC, perfect, or nine thousand something BC. <laughs> when do you guys think the uh, pyramids were built? Ooh, we're talking about ancient, advanced civilizations now. Yeah, oh. dude, I'm having a hard time with virtual school. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having a hard time with virtual seventh grade guys. They think that the pyramids were tombs built in the year 3000 BC. Oh, I'm so disappointed yeah. they're still trying to. I'm saying it. that they're probably more like 9000 BC, and I've watched some pretty compelling YouTube videos about it. Yeah, man. Yeah, Tim, so I, to- like- I told Ben, just fake it, dude. Get your A. That's all that really matters. But yeah. just between you and me, that they don't know what the fuck they're talking about. That's yeah. a good. That's a good message. You know? Yeah. We. Yeah. Go ahead. R- R- Cruz, you're saying something. Oh no. Uh, Tim, do you have to like partly teach or is it kind of like you're just supervising? Right now I'm just supervising, but at a certain point he'll have earned enough good boy points that he can go asynchronous and kind of uh, self-lead. Oh, and, that's cool. But by then I think I'm already going to, I, I talk about what he learns every day just because like I'm, I'm doing an experiment to see if I can get him interested in any of this boring ass shit. So I'm like, yeah. dude, I'm like, dude, this pyramid shit's actually pretty controversial. Like outside of like the quiz that you have to take. Um, I did this once before with like a geography thing in the Middle East where I like pulled it up on a map and I was like, oh, that looks weird. And I just tried to pique his interest. So I'm going to just keep doing that and see. Yeah. Yeah. Finn had a project where he had to make a pyramid. And so we made it to scale. Like we made the top of a pyramid, but we made it to scale. So if you extended it, it would be like the same proportions of the oh, right. great yeah, pyramid. Oh, right. Yeah. Great experiment. Dude, it was so great. fun. And we, we had that's like, we had all these little tools we were using and stuff. And so that's when I showed him like, the YouTube videos explaining like really what, yeah the esteemed Graham Hancock. Yeah. Did you do it yourself or did you use the experts? <laughs> no, no, I should I show them the videos. Like oh, you watch the video. No, I'm saying like, did you who built the pyramids for you? Did oh I? <laughs> you guys that's the question. Did, dude. You, hire, did, you, did you procure slaves to build your pyramids? <laughs> <I> mean, <laughs> <laughs> also, no, we, how many use, about? we use sound. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> I was like, Anthony, could you build these pyramids? <laughs> <laughs> I also know when you were talking about Christianity selling, I was like, yeah, no, that's not, a, I have no idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> well, you're, you are Catholic, dude. You're like, you, you have, you, like, you, what, talking about Christianity is same, the same way, like, if, like, you're allowed to talk about your mom, but if somebody else says some shit about your mom, you want to fight for it? It's like Buddhism had, wasn't perfect. They actually, yeah. they actually have a place recently where all of the monks were tested positive for meth. And they had a, the whole what? temple got a band. Yeah, they, yeah, but they're probably problem. like producing that in their bodies with the, whatever meditation. No, mm. these guys got caught. They were like, no, smoking that's probably meth. what happened. Thailand yeah. has a big problem in, with that. In, in, endogenous meth. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> your body actually naturally produces meth. <laughs> they did too much Wim Hof. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what happened. You, you they cut were out Wim huffing. They, they were for fucking up. <laughs> you cut out seed oils, dude. Your body goes back to naturally producing meth. <laughs> You, but you don't know that because you're eating fucking Purdue estrogen chicken. Yeah. And that's why your pineal glands all yeah. crystallized and shit. Yeah, come on. You weakling. <laughs> meditate so much that you get That's the final level one. of ketosis. Yeah. <laughs> just just locked man. in a one-bedroom apartment <laughs> thinking the government's after you. Like, yeah. Yeah. Barricading yourself in a national holy site. <laughs> we got to start to cook. We've got to start to cook. Yeah. <laughs> Do I think that is like if we could like decrystallize our pineal glands, like we'd be able to just like boom. DMT trip, like whenever you want. Boom, I'm gonna fill meth. L arginine and ashwagandha might start sort of do that. On my off microdose days, it's my ashwagandha, mm-hmm. heavy dose of ashwagandha. I need to, I need to try that. I had that was the only that was the only CBD so supplement I ever liked. I had these CBD gummies that were CBD ashwagandha, and I really felt like I felt something with the ashwagandha is the stuff, dude. I like it. I know, man. What does it do? What do you, how do you feel? It's like rhino horn, testosterone booster. Woo! Balances your hormones. It also, uh, they they say in Ayurvedic medicine. I can never say that word. Ayurvedic medicine. They use it for seizures too. Interesting. It increases the se- uh, seizure threshold. Oh, some say so you can come harder. It's a good thing. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Without seizing up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, ashwagandha is the stuff. Yeah. They say I hear. I keep hearing about ashwagandha and also uh, black seed oil. I don't know what black seed oil does, but I heard that's the stuff. Okay. Yeah, I gotta try that. Yeah. No, you do L-arginine, zinc, and ashwagandha. 
and I think it increases your cum load. You're still are you still chasing the dragon? No, I've I've found some pretty effective uh combinations. I'm just bad at taking a pill every day. Yeah, mm. true. That's tough. But I'm saying, what did you get your load up to at your when you were when you were on gear? Oh. What did you get your load up to? What was like your oh, yeah. load? What did it sound like when you, it hit made contact you, with a surface? You you understand <laughs> you understand suddenly when the pre is so squishy. Whoa. Yeah. When it's when it's mo- I mean, <laughs> that that's the only way I can explain it. <laughs> Squishy pre makes perfect yeah. sense. Yeah. Not watery yeah. pre. That's a, that's a potent pre. Yeah, when when you see the viscosity on your pre, you're like, oh boy, uh, I better, yeah. I better get a second man on this hose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but Buddhism is incredibly. Fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I was bummed when I read that. I was like, what the fuck? I thought these guys were free from all that stuff. Like, yeah, it's disappointing, right? Very interlinked to the government, but a lot of times it was the kings attacking them because they would end up with all the money in the country. And the king, they, because it was such a problem, like it was such Ooh, a like I a do mineral based problem to produce all these coins. Mm-hmm. So then, like you'd have to like they they'd have to invade another country to like go take their silver mines because you'd be like, we don't, we can't make enough money to be a good country. Yeah, we're at there's all the coins we have, and it end up in the fucking. Uh, like Monasteries. The yeah, they go, what the, you fucking idiots. Man. Would you, but tell me, tell me you don't me. feel something when you look at a gigantic golden Buddha statue. I love them. Yeah. It's the best. I love them. But that, I mean, Jesus died I'm, I'm on a fucking so cross. I'm so tired Jesus of the crucifix, dude. The crucifix is such please, a fucking bummer. I can't please. stand it. No, I don't not. feel any kind of wisdom. I don't feel any kind of oh whimsy. My goodness I don't gracious. feel any kind of inner oh peace. I go, God. okay, dude, we fucking get it. <laughs> yeah. he did it I can't believe you. they're still carving this shit. Are you kidding me? It's the ultimate. Buddha died of old age in the woods with a bunch yeah, of Yeah, going like this. Yes, dude. Yeah. Okay. See you later. Oh, Jesus could have done wait, that. Wait. That's the thing. He could have well, done he that. Did. Guys, he could guys, have. Here, but he was like, mm. he could Damn, have. Damn, Buddha Shut died up. like a mum mum. <laughs> 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 Rob, are you ready? To, we're going to judge the great debate. Let's do it. All right. So, Buddha statues, cross. Ready? Open an argument. Matt, go. Dude, Jesus could have went out. He went out in the wilderness a bunch of times. Buddha stayed out there like oh a fucking God. coward. Also abandoned his children. Also abandoned his children. Wait, am like, I arguing for Buddha? No, no, you're, we're, you're you and judge. I are judging. You're judging. Oh, oh, gotcha, gotcha. Jesus was like, yeah, I'm going to have the worst death ever. Fine, I'll go do that. Got torn apart, beaten up. He sounds like a fucking loser. Yeah, right. He didn't even have any kids. Dude, he never got any it was pussy. the <laughs> ultimate sacrifice, and he goes, not knowing, again, you just look, let's go Jesus a human. Mm-hmm. Okay. Not knowing what's going to happen. Allows himself to just die in the most loser way possible. It's like, All right, yeah, right, dude, Matt, that was two minutes. Uh, How two? many fucking times does he go into the desert and just fucking cry to nobody? He's like, why is this so cry? fucking no. hard? He's talking to God. Bullshit. Yeah, Tim, right. this is open argument. And the devil. Uh, I, I don't know anything about Buddha, but I know Jesus is a fucking crybaby <laughs> bitch. <laughs> Dang. And it's like, yo, dude, 2,000 years later, we're still, like, carving you in your underwear, just fucking in your dying moments. Like, dude, get over it. You should have done cool shit while you're alive. He fucking, <laughs> basically, he just killed time and hung out until it was time to die. He wasted 33 human years, which I get that he's, like, eternal and all, like, but he had a very small amount of time on Earth, and he was just like, whatever, dude. I'm going to flip some tables, scream at prostitutes. <laughs> And then die like Wash a fucking. Feet. And then and then by the way, all my boys are gonna turn me in and get me fucking almost cut in half. I'm gonna get my like this shit sucks, dude. No Everything way. about this dude sucks. Dude, okay, he, he no would way. literally. You could say that to his face and he would forgive you. I don't even. Damn. I don't care. Yeah. Here's the thing. Wait, I'm not just being yeah, different. Matt, Matt, before, be you like, ma- before you make a counterpoint, right. I do want to point out uh, that Butterly has a strong argument in the fact that Jesus was a carpenter and didn't invent skateboards. So think about. Yeah, that. right. Jesus was a carpenter. Yeah. My ass. So all right, Matt. Counterpoint. <laughs> Maybe he them. knew a little forgive bit them. of bad, but Matt, he wasn't showing up on the job them. site every day. <laughs> forgive them. <laughs> all right, Matt. Your if counterpoint. If Jesus was a carpenter, they wouldn't have been able to put nails through his fucking steel toes. He was a carpenter's stepson, basically. <laughs> mm. Dude, I Shapiro mean, has to throw my ass in his arsenal, dude. <laughs> Responding with anything with my ass, dude. It's dude. so nice. <laughs> dude, that turned me. That turned the cruise. <laughs> my ass, dude. <laughs> I mean, they're two different. I mean, again, I like them both. Buddha's more for like your mind and like how to get out of a bad mood. Jesus is how to withstand the torture of the physical world. Woo, and he did it. Right. He walked right into the meat grinder. Bro, he had infinite fish. What? <laughs> no, that's actually more about the uh, synergy that human beings can create multitudes. Uh-oh. 
That's the difference. Uh-oh. Okay, Uh-oh. man. Okay. It's like, you know, yeah, I get it. One plus yeah. one, one plus yeah. one. Yeah. You think Actually, it, you think one plus Dumbledore one Dumbledore was two. gay in the, on the books the whole time. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, you dude. Think one plus You're one J.K. Rowling. <laughs> you think one plus one equals two, but when two human beings get together, they can create multitudes for the masses. That's the symbology behind that story, dude. Wow. We can feed the masses, dude. Cool story, bro. <laughs> <laughs> what did Buddha say? Let's counterpoint. Tim, get him. What did Buddha say? Buddha. I mean, actually, like the Dhammapada, but go on. <laughs> again, again, I don't know anything about Buddha, but there's golden statues of him everywhere, and you never hear about this dude going like, remember how I died, dude? <laughs> remember how hard it was when I fucking died for you guys? He never did it. He never like, he came out. He was like, yo, peace out. I'm out here. Right. You guys ruled. Big, yeah, they can. Yeah, right. But, yo, by the way, don't forget to put a carving of me doing this. He's on the cross going like, you guys see what this looks like, right? You guys, yeah. I'm doing this in space, by the way. I've been <laughs> since five, you guys see me doing this, right? Does anyone here know how to paint? You could probably start like a draft right now and then just like fill in the details later, but you should probably seriously get this, man. Come on. He's going to fucking stab me. I mean, me, the, please, symbolo- dude, yeah. please the symbology is entirely lost on you. Up a little bit. The symbology is entirely lost. Please fucking paint me. Remember when I was nice to your fucking girlfriend one time, dude? You fucking did like all that fish. Seriously, dude, I'm dying. Please paint me. Or something. Ah, uh, all right, no, Matt. Close an argument. He didn't say that at all. Yeah. He said, "Father, forgive them. They know not what yeah, they do." And that's right, my closing. Dude. Father, forgive them. He they said, know not what they do. You guys seriously know who my dad is? <laughs> Tim, close an argument. He changed human consciousness, dude. <laughs> no, he didn't change shit. Dude. We were just law abiders walking around. He goes, "No, it matters what's inside of you. You have to enact that in society in a way." You know, Buddha was cool, but it was just like, yeah, yeah just right. fucking hide from life for forty years, and you'll eventually forget about it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jesus said, "Walk into the eye of the fucking storm." And if they kill you, kill you. Only a Jewish guy can do that so annoyingly that they murder him. (laughs) (laughs) Damn, that was two Hail Marys call at the end of the day. That was insane. (laughs) Holy shit. (laughs) Rob, you got a tough one ahead of you, man. What are you you landing on this? Defend the Quran right now. You have the Prophet Muhammad. Damn, dude. Um, You don't have to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rob. Rob. So where are we going? Are we going with the cross or are we going with the Buddha? Well, first of all, I want to commend the pageantry on both sides. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. It was beautiful. It was, yeah, that, that was a performance. The closing of the I closing argument for my life. were insane. <laughs> yeah. You oh guys left God. it all out there. <laughs> ah. <laughs> beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. That was two fucking titans. Oh, that was so fun, dude. That, is, that was world-class shit right there. That was so fun. That was Godzilla Kong of Once retar- retardation. <laughs> Once in a lifetime. And that's the problem with boxing. You don't get two champions to fight each other. Like, true. <laughs> true. That true. was insane. That was a battle of the ages, dude. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Rob. Um, I'm sorry. Keep going, buddy. Oh, man. Um, <laughs> it would be funny if Rob wasn't paying attention at all. <laughs> yeah. yeah, what did they say again? <laughs> Rob was over there worshiping the devil. <laughs> yes. He was just counting his money. I'm sorry. Yeah. Rob, that was a very insulting Jewish thing I just said. Rob but anyways, Jews? Wait, you calling him nah, Rob dude. Jews? Yeah, Rob the Jews. <laughs> Rob, yeah. so who, how'd it go, Rob? Dude, it went great. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, dude, I'm gonna. I, I'm still not over my ass, dude. So Pray I'm gonna it. give it the ten. Give it to enough. the Buddha. You're giving it to the Buddha. Yeah, yeah, to Buddha. Put that Fair creed enough. music back on. <laughs> <laughs> I finally defeated yeah. Jesus. <laughs> I mean, you think they thought they defeated Jesus, and what happened? <laughs> what happened? Watch out three days later, dude. Whatever, man. I'm good. <laughs> I was on the Buddha thing for a while, and I said I had to come back there. I said, I don't know, man. Jesus. I don't know the first thing about the guy. He's pretty cool. Siddhart- Siddhartha? Yeah, that Is was that the same thing, or no? Yeah, that was like pre Buddha. That was back when he loved his family before he left them, or whatever. <laughs> Sat in the woods and didn't eat for a while. Well, he loved his family so hard that he realized he had to go chill and, and learn the world from them. Yeah, I forg- I've forgiven him for that, honestly. It's yeah. a good thing he did. And back then it was like kind of totally okay if you leave your kids in a palace or like, yo, peace out. Yeah, nobody knew that like life sucked for everybody back then. Yeah, well, people know that. I think people know that. <laughs> no, no, I think, I, I think he was the first person to be like, yo, dude, it sucks for everybody. No, I think they were keeping that knowledge from him. He, is, he was given, when he was in the palace... When he was young, his father set up his life so that he would actually never... I know, and then he was like, dude, other people might not know this either. <laughs> oh, they knew it. They were all like, yeah, oh, dude. Man. He, he walked outside, a guy was dying in the street. He goes, what the fuck? The driver goes, yeah, man, it fucking yeah. sucks. You're not the prince's fucking... You're not the king's son. Wait, that's going to happen to me? <laughs> Do you ever imagine being a young prince and like going into yes. the marketplace for the first time? 
Mm-hmm. Just people with a cloak? Yeah. Dude, you know what? Uh, this, this is, I mean, I'd hate to, I hate to be a freak, but we'll take this to this topic. <laughs> but since I'm just using my imagination for masturbating, I've been jumping historical periods. Damn. Like a young prince. Your quang come leaping. A young, yeah, a young prince, dude. A young prince, and you're with laying a, there. A courtesan or whatever. Yeah, dude. Or is like, that a lady? Or chambermaid that? comes in. You've always treated her fair. She's not like your slave yeah. or anything. But this, this but one time, she you're gonna you. shove her onto you know the pile of bear skins or whatever that you sleep on. Yeah, mm. dude, that's a sick. Yeah, you, you can you can. My quietly, lord, please call me Prince Akabata. <laughs> 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 but yeah, go on, please. I, no, I think I'm you took that you, to its logical conclusion. I masturbated like to a, to a, like a medieval fantasy recently. It was, Damn, uh, dude. They didn't disappoint. You know, you fucking beat the pussy up when she hits you with the me lord afterwards. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Babe, you don't have to. You don't have to do that to her. <laughs> you pistol whip her with a crossbow. <laughs> <laughs> Speak nothing of this, wench. <laughs> 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 I promise, my lord. <laughs> <laughs> I would never dream of it, my lord. Oh my god, my lord, I'm with child. <laughs> we I all know when she's be shopping. <laughs> I shall exile the bastard. Henceforth, my thirteenth birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Please have him smashed with rocks by the river. Oh, and then I came in a hotel in Cincinnati. I was like, oh. <laughs> thinking about destroying my master. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was the old king and I came looking back. I was like, oh, this kingdom has fallen into disrepair. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not the warrior I once was. But, man, oh, man, oh, man. Yeah, I do, I do some uh, historical leaping. Historical I, faps are nice. Yeah, I mean, if you're only using your imagination, you can't stop it from happening. You really, I go to Egypt every yeah. time, man. <laughs> Just by accident. Dude. Really? This yeah. dude is a warrior. I'm in, Af- I'm in Africa. I think it's because of the girlfriend from the mummy. The modern girlfriend and the mummy's girlfriend mm. that he got killed for. I didn't see it, but I'd imagine. Yeah. It's hot. hot. It's pretty, nice, pretty good historical stuff. It ends up with Brandon Fraser in a fat suit. And you're like, what the hell? Yeah. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> it's not his real body. Mm-hmm. Coming on a fat suit. That'd be nice. Yeah. Coming on a fat suit. Yeah, is that what you just said. Fapping in your own fat suit and getting to f- come on your own. Oh, you could just build in a flashlight and just kind of wiggle around on Ooh. your lunch break. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> Brendan, we need you. <laughs> okay, dude, secretly fucking, a, secretly fucking a flashlight all day. In a fat suit. <laughs> flashlight is just a tomb for your bird. <laughs> True, it's a bird suit. Yeah, oh, people in like Disney. They weren't tombs, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> Every time you have. Mickey Mouse a hug. He's like, oh, oh God, <laughs> fuck. Kid punches him in the stomach. He's like, oh, yeah, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow. I think we did it. What are we at, 59? 57? 52. Ooh, nice. I knew Ooh. we were in the 50s. This has been a fucking whirlwind of a day. This has yeah. been nuts, dude. Goodness gracious. <laughs> when do we even start talking about? I feel like we got completely <laughs> no idea. I think everything, and in, in I don't remember at all. I have on no the, idea how we got to On the yeah. Patreon, you started with the Rush Hour pod. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. That was a good time. <laughs> yeah. Good old days. Oh, boy. oh my God. Yeah, you know, Jackie Chan actually has a fully American accent. He's been faking that one the whole time. What? No. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Damn. You almost bummed me out, dude. Big Shaggy. Shaggy for real, though. Damn, awesome. Have you have I ever told you about why Jackie Chan's Chinese movies are so much better than his American movies? The no. The specific reason? No. Okay. So in the American movies, the, the shooting style is slightly altered to his Chinese style because the Chinese movies he makes are funded by the Chinese government. And so he actually does like like trick shot video. Like he'll do a hundred takes of trying to like kick a shoe off of his foot and then get it to hit a guy that's in mid cartwheel. Mm-hmm. He'll really? shoot that five thousand times to get the right shot. And then in America, it's like, yeah, we'll just do it and we'll, we'll edit it in DJI. later. Whoa. Yeah. So yeah, there's I, I talk about this video constantly, but it's uh the channel's called like Every Frame of Painting, and it's like how Jackie Chan does comedy, and it fucking rules. Damn, yeah. he is a legend, dude. Dude, he's the he's the master of getting his head stuck in a ladder and then running into a wall. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> who else is? Who, I mean, he wrote the book on for, ladder uh, head gags. For I, sure. I feel like that was when we were the most cool with China during Rumble in the Bronx, or just like yeah. during Jackie Chan's time. I think so. Yeah, Although, well, or did they? Was that a bit of a red herring? No, a Trojan he, horse. I should say. He, no, that was Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee was the Trojan horse. Yeah. We're like, well, you guys are cool. What the hell? Where did all our trade secrets go? What the hell's yeah. going on here? <laughs> 
<laughs> what the hell happened to our patents? <laughs> <laughs> Stuck them out in a paper track. <laughs> 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 he wrote them on the inside of a lantern that floated in the sky. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that guy can kick up to his head. What the hell? <laughs> hey, where'd my army tank drawings go? Dude, what the fuck's going on? <laughs> Stop him! People just knock over ladders in front of him. <laughs> yeah. Man. Cool guy. Super cool dude. Yeah, the best. I, I heard his son is whack. What? Yeah. Wacky uh, Chan. Wacky. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's two wins. <laughs> uh, that's down bad. <laughs> I've never seen a man take a beating like this. <laughs> That's so fucking funny. <laughs> Since the rumble in the Bronx. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh man. That's so funny. Very good. Yeah. What's so oh. what's so uh, what's so whack about man. Wacky J? <laughs> nah, ju just a classic thing where it's like you know celebrity. Rich parent, then the, oh, gotcha. the kid turns into one of uh, those. A wigger. <laughs> <laughs> kind of sets you up for failure, yeah. though, dude. And, and it's crazy because it, <laughs> we pronounce it wiggle, but over there, dude. Ooh. Oh, sorry. sorry. Oh, Matt, that Rob? was reverse, reverse. That was. <laughs> Rob, yeah. don't come out of that tomb for the rest of the week. <laughs> yeah. You were grounded, mister. Uh, I'm sorry. That was dude. a very risky I'm play. pretty sure they just freely <laughs> use the N word over there, actually. No, they're saying um. They better. I've seen videos. I've seen videos of them. Ripping it, like with the hard yeah. R. Yeah, like when basketball players come over there on the ball. Yeah, they scream the N word at dudes. But are they could be just so like confounded they don't know what to say and they're just like they're saying their um word. They're like trying you know, to get it all out. Every, you know, everywhere the American military goes, whenever they work with like a foreign like police or military force, the first thing they do is they get videos of them saying the N word as loud as they can. Yeah, they do it. It happened in like yeah. Iraq and shit. <laughs> it's really great stuff. I'm people, sorry. People, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've seen videos of these guys getting back on the bus and these dudes get wild. Yeah. It's pretty it's I'd pretty like nuts. to see some of these videos. Oh, they're I, yeah, I could find one. That sounds, on yeah, it sounds kind of fun. If for a Chinese, it must be cool. If for a Chinese yeah. guy, to be like, oh shit. Comes a six foot five black dude. Let me scream yeah. the N-word at him until he gets back on his bus. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. After he just dunk, literally jumped over our best player and dunked on him. I mean, fair is fair at that point. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't well, think. Well, that is I, why yeah. they do most of their talking from behind bulletproof glass. <laughs> <laughs> Did we ever find out that Yao Ming was just like three Chinese guys stacked on top of each other? It was like. <laughs> Damn, he's just been trying to get into the movies this whole time. <laughs> Yeah, by the way, fans uh, yelling okay. racial shit shouldn't be considered racism. Yeah, I, I would agree on that. That's insane that they do that. It's yeah, crime it, of passion. It's like doing the wave. It's not even a crime. It's like, they just fucked us up. We got to hurt their feelings now. Yeah. It's fair game. You can't yeah. take, you, you, you got you to gotta find a win in your loss somehow. Yeah, true. Yeah, but it's tough. At a Sixers game, there's like a pretty diverse crowd, so you'd have to like... Look at the book. I'm sorry, bro. I <laughs> can't let him do this to us. <laughs> Can't let them do this to us. I mean, you could you could go to like hard on the Eastern European players, mm. like you Slavic fucking trash. You could, you could like really get in there, and be like yeah, you fucking, puh, I fucking puh, I spit on you. Mm. Puh. Yesterday, I spit I, on you. Lucy Lucy was telling me about the the large Eastern European population in her school. I was like, oh, do they all have like really big heads? And she was like, what are you talking about? I was like. <laughs> I feel like that's a stereotype I picked up in high school that Eastern Europeans have enormous heads. Yeah, blockheads. Yeah. Block yeah. And yeah. she's just like, Lego people. Not tracking. I was like, all right, well, do me a favor. Just don't remember this conversation. Wait, please. I thought they were blockheads because they were on like the Eastern Bloc. No, it's because nah, they have big gigantic, Polish huge heads. Oh. heads. They have Minecraft heads. Yeah, big Polish heads. Incredible. I would have used that's that a scientific fact, fact, was. By the way. Yeah, I think so too. That's a scientific yeah. fact. Polish dudes, look. I think we, it might be like a radiation thing. Yeah, or, Dude, that's or like, just having six countries constantly coming across your borders and kicking you in the face for yeah. You need a pretty sturdy melon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I, I also, off <laughs> Slavic invaders. It's a Darwin. It's a Darwin head for ten thousand. I also right? heard uh, which I'm gonna call it. I want to hear about Polish people. Yeah, big hogs. Really? Oh yeah. Damn, that's crazy. I don't like that. Yeah. 
That makes me look at all the construction guys in my old neighborhood differently mm-hmm. now. No, big fat hogs. Oh, now we're in a Polish neighborhood, dude. Yeah, man. Oh, yeah, we're still in that neighborhood. Surrounded by hogs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also <laughs> Polish, though. I like the stereotype. Uh, I've heard it. Big know, Polish yeah. head. I'm, I'm looking them up right now. <laughs> maybe not Polish. Maybe like Ukrainians. Maybe. No, they got big head. Polish guys are big head. Don't let them fool you, dude. Survival of the This kid. is probably something we can measure. If actually, if you're listening to this and you're of Eastern European descent, do us a favor: measure your head and then give us a ratio of that to the rest of your body. Yeah, <laughs> we're pretty sure you look like Minecraft Steve. <laughs> <laughs> what ethnic group has the biggest head? Oh, there you, you got to measure. Someone they have the data still from this one. They Guys got are being really bad. Yeah, well, yeah. Has the biggest heads? That's a good. Uh, what nationality has the biggest heads? Americans, white Americans' heads are getting bigger. Mm. <laughs> it's about damn time. Hell yeah. Do Eastern Europeans have larger and rounder heads than others? This is a Kira question. <laughs> <laughs> the, dude, the question is yeah. the evidence. That's dude, it. Dude? Yeah. Okay, so he goes, this is the proposition, but Germans seem to have the biggest heads on earth. <laughs> <laughs> damn. <laughs> damn. I, that's, why, I, that's why he thought he could do it. I think, I think <laughs> yeah. too big. that's a soft open. Yeah. 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 I think Eastern Europeans of the region near the Western Russia under Sweden might have the biggest heads, though. I know I have a pretty big head myself in the range of 1,950 to 220, 220 uh, or 2,200 like, cc. Dude, if you're, if you're looking around and you see that your people have the biggest head, no, you probably, dude, these are the you, you probably think you're the superior race. C-C, isn't well, he, that a fluid? This guy he's specified talking about the, the volume <laughs> of a <laughs> Russian's he, head. How did he measure? He did say I'm of mixed race, white, Asian, Indostani, Semitic, but mostly white. It's like, all right. Mm. So he he had those little trailers. Okay, so the not top common answer was many Poles have round heads and round faces. Slavics and Czechs have long, narrow faces. Russians have short, wide faces and big distance between nose and upper lip. Oh. <laughs> and then you did the other answer coming down. And this is a Polish guy, Adam Zagorski, by the way. Never forget you said this. He said, no, man, the people with round faces are mainly Chinese, Japanese, and they're Asian and Asiatic people. People in Europe have slimmer, smaller faces. What? <laughs> He's going to get fired. Oh, my God. And then there's just a picture of this guy, Kevin Carruthers, who says, I'm extremely cranially endowed, size eight and a quarter. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> just that guy. <laughs> Hugging his dog, showing his big ball. Cranially in now. <laughs> wow. <Yeah. laughs> wow. Oh my God. Dude. Oh. <laughs> his sister Christian, yes. And I've noticed they seem to become larger with age. You think he sent chicks big head pics? <laughs> you'll, you'll find Scandinavians have larger heads and wider trunks, too. It's an adaptation trunks? to the trunks? cold weather. Is that a neck? <laughs> <laughs> like, how big does your head have to be before your neck oh is a trunk? God. Dude, this dude, Kira is the best, dude. People yeah. can unleash. I have a. Uh, I, I have thought one. that was only a place where you ask about if your dick's normal. <laughs> <laughs> it is, dude. After you solve the problem of your dick, you go on to be like, well, let me ask. Dude, I think if you keep reading, <laughs> you're going to get into some dick shit. Uh, yeah. ma- I mean, someone someone's going into some like really racist IQ stuff right away. They're saying like Scandinavians have larger heads because it's, it's an ad- adaptation to cold weather, so you have a bigger brain. That allows you to think more abstractly when you're in a cold climate. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? This guy, <laughs> Sister Christian, no. So they're saying it allows you to Ooh. think more abstractly when you're cold? When you're cold. If you're in a cold climate, you can like, you have like a fucking sex your head. You can think more fucking. What if we drew people's triangles? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, true. Yeah, that is a, that's a crazy thing. Sister uh, Christian getting fucking racist. One guy just says, I do have a problem with hats. I usually need a bigger number. Stubborn head. Um, I have a, I have a thing to update you guys on. Okay. Yeah. Remember when we, uh, well, I remember when I spurged out under, uh, over um, Hitman speed running? Yes. Mm-hmm. So the, I, I'm trying to connect the dots right now. And someone mentioned this on the Center Dad's Patreon. But they said at ninety five percent sure the hitman streamer Tim mentions just got into some hot water because he paid for deep faked porn of other streamers. That was the guy that oh, yeah. accidentally tabbed to it on stream. Oh, he did tab to it on. He talked about it on stream, or he, he didn't talk about it. But it was he had an open tab, and he had. To oh, go, um, oh, that's why he had to come up, <laughs> come clean. Damn. Yeah. I was wondering how he got caught. So it's over for him. Really? Is, is that that bad? No. Oh, he came out and apologized and cried with he his cried. wife. Yeah, you gotta cry. Yeah. I mean, bro, what the fuck, That's man? That's not a bad thing. But I... That's a crime of This bad. is... I mean, I don't know. I feel like a wise man once said, he without the fir- he without sins, uh, throw the first stone. Yeah. Yeah. 
That, that, yeah, let me see your fucking cache. Yeah, dude. The alt tab history. during the stream accidentally revealing that he was on a site that creates AI generated deep fake pornography. I mean, that what a porn. That's hole, though, basically. Dude. Oh, dude, his wife cries. Imagination fapping digitally. Yeah, but he said, I got morbidly curious and I clicked something. It's gross and I'm sorry. It's not gross. Be sorry, but yeah. it's not gross. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's just sick. like you got me, guys. Send me the link. He's, he's more apologetic than Alec Baldwin. And Alec Baldwin <laughs> killed somebody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, guys, that's an hour. <laughs> that is an hour. I think we're good on that. I mean, whether or not Alec Baldwin's guilty of a crime, I have no interest in even knowing the outcome. For sure. But he shot and killed a person. For sure. And it's kind of just like, <sighs> yeah, but think about it. And this guy is like, I'm so sorry. I imagine naked women and then a computer show me what it would look like. Yeah, that was crazy. Yeah. <laughs> that was crazy. I mean, he's probably thinking, like, fuck, I'm done. I'm getting paid a bunch of money to play video games. My hair's dyed silver. Now I'm fucked. Mm. Yep. I'm sorry I didn't reach out sooner. I'm sorry my actions have led to further exploitation of you and your body. And I'm sorry you're- It's not her body, it's AI. I'm sorry, I'm sorry your experience is not uncommon. <laughs> dude, how fucking, I mean, uh, crazy that's, Dude, that's pretty nuts. I now, mean, you're again, not allowed to do that. You're not allowed to start throwing other dudes under the bus because you got- I mean, by the yeah, way, he definitely, a up move. there's a bunch of people who probably didn't know about that who now they do. So thank well, open thank the you for so that. I, I saw a tweet. The Pandora's lady box. lady was saying like, hey, to all you male journalists reporting on this, thanks a lot. You're making it worse. Don't Hell even yeah. acknowledge Better. it. Better. <laughs> so it's like, you know, do you want us to cancel them or not? Why don't you tell us? Cancel culture's not real, bro. Yeah. Well, Matt, I hate to tell you this, nothing's real, buddy. True. Damn. We're assigning it value. Everything Except Tim winning that debate earlier. That shit. Oh, I, no. no. <laughs> All right. Are you guys ready? We got to get out of here. Okay. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. See you guys later.